upon um, some of how important, how significant, how relieving it was just, just to get out. Man, it felt good just going back into the locker room. You just seeing smiles and faces and, you know, the energy that we had when we first started the season. You know, we was on that losing streak. It was everybody, guys, was down because he just wanted to win so bad, wasn't pulling out wins. So, you know, to come back in the locker room and see everybody smiling, it felt good. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I felt as though, like, uh, guys were just trying to just trying to do it so bad and try to win so bad uh, just because Nicola was was out and we know what he provides. So just trying to fill his shoes in, but, you know, that's big shoes to fill. So, uh, you know, him being back, it's, it's everybody's a team now, you know, playing through him. It felt good, for sure. It, it felt it felt really, it was killing me in the inside because uh, I actually wanted to come back last game, but uh, they told me no. When I was warming up, I felt a little good, but they told me no. And uh, you know, I, I was really frustrated, but, you know, they, they know what's best for me. Uh, they know the time of, you know, me feeling good myself and them also knowing when for me to come back is good too. So uh, if, it, it definitely felt great to come back and, you know, pull out one. So when they give you the okay for today's game or whenever you got that news, Felt really good. I was smiling the whole way, putting on my clothes. I was smiling because I wanted to get out there so bad and just pull out a win because I know, uh, you know, we, we needed this was a, a must win for us and uh, to get off this losing streak. So, you know, like I said, I was just smiling, putting my clothes on. <laughs> Coach, did your approach change or did your eyes light up a little bit when the team is playing as much zone as they do? Uh, it, it lights up for me because uh, it's so much open space in the zone. Uh, uh, I always live by shoot them out the zone. And, uh, you know, I think that's what we did tonight. And, uh, you know, they couldn't stop it. Yes, that's exactly where we're at. You just got to keep it going. And that's what I'm going to keep doing. How was, um, on a different topic, how was Mike um, from, from I don't know your interaction with him today, yesterday? How, how's he <laughs> uh, I haven't really been uh, in too, uh, close contact with him. He hasn't been around the team. But I actually saw him at breakfast earlier, but I didn't get a chance to speak to him. He was just in and out, but uh, definitely feel bad for him. We miss Mike a lot, uh, miss his energy, miss his play, and uh, just him as a person, his personality. So uh, it's going to be rough for us, but uh, as coach always say, next man up, and just going to keep moving forward and uh, do it for Mike. Did, uh, did you and Aaron coordinate? Bro, <laughs> it's crazy because I took my hair out and – uh, I think we was at practice or something, and I seen AG take – he had his hair out. So I'm like, okay, now we back in business now. Let's keep it like this, AG. I like the fro. <laughs> we just went to the game and just, you know, the fro bros. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel like nah, I seen it on Twitter, actually. Okay. The fro bros, I actually like that. Uh, can you walk us through kind of what happened with the technical? Like, the one you did have more money taken away. I know. It's, and – Oh my gosh, it'd be killing me because I'm so I'm a I'm an emotional player, but in a good way. And uh, that's how I always play with just getting the crowd into it, the fans, teammates, et cetera, et cetera. And I didn't even say anything crazy. Uh I actually was talking to Marquise Morris. He's like a big brother to me. I know him since I was little, him and Marcus Morris. And uh I'm like, I was wide open and I hit the shot. I'm like, you know that, Keith. And they gave me a tech. I'm like, ref, I didn't say anything crazy. It's basketball. Like I'm not cussing at the bench or anything I just said you know I know him but I went to the other ref he like you know keep it professional he doesn't know that you know you know him and things like that I'm like yeah I understand but you know that's what happened on the technical foul but can't keep getting money taken out on bank account <laughs> that yes uh I feel as though it, it comes with uh you know more as you you know, keep being yourself in the league and you keep being your name out there in the league, I feel though like you get more leverage. Uh, I see other players do it a lot, but, you know, they did so much in the league, they can do that. But I'm just an emotional player. I'm not going to stop who I am because at the end of the day, that made me who I am and it got me to this point. But uh, I just got to know when to do it and when to not. And uh, Jokic came up to me and he was screaming at me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I uh, actually was talking to him after the game, and I had asked him. I checked up on him, asked him, was he all right? I also checked up on him uh, when the incident happened as well. I'm just like, oh, are you okay? How's your, uh, your neck, et cetera, et cetera. He's like, you're doing okay. He's hurting. And then uh, we left it there, and then I just met with him again. <clears throat> I asked him, where is he at? He like, it's taking a long time, a little bit to come back. I'm just like, I wish you the best. Da -da. Just kept it from there. Um, so go ahead, ask him on the 
Hi, Bones. Congrats for the win from Cordoba, Argentina. Uh, how important is start the road trip with this big win? And for you and the second unit uh, playing an amazing way with, uh, again, a great defending team like Miami. Uh, it, it felt good, you know, starting to win off against Miami. We know uh, coming into this game that they're an aggressive team. Even though they was missing players tonight, they still were an uh, aggressive team. We wanted to stick with the same game plan no matter who was out on the floor. And uh, just starting off with Miami, that also gave us a, a different level of uh, confidence boost as well because it, we know that they're a great team uh, offensively and defensively. So uh, we want to keep this going. Yeah, thank you.